Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm David. Let's talk about The Amazing Race 36 premiere. We're back. We got a new season to talk about. Also, happy St. Patrick's Day. We're in our green. Look at us. But first, if you're new to this channel, please click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash nerdtainment. New cast, new yeah. countries. I gotta say, I'm still learning their names. Sure. So, of you course. know, if I call them double Dutch for an episode or two, please bear with me. Yes. But I'm trying to refer to everybody by name, but it's just a lot of names. I prefer to have a nickname. Yeah. I prefer to just say, you know, girlfriends, twins. Uh -huh. That's just shorter than saying this person and this person. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Then we'll it. we'll lean into those nicknames mm -hmm, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're starting in Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta. We started. No. When was the last time they did this? Was this like season thirty four where they started internationally? I feel like that was a COVID thing where they started it internationally, right? Because they usually start like in LA or something. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So remember, no. we're going back in time. Back a in bit time. For the season. Uh, it's COVID s. Mm -hmm, right. Uh, but not too. It didn't. It wasn't in my face. Yeah. In this episode. No. Uh, but yeah, we're on the beach. Yes. The teams are there. Yes. Phil is there. Yeah, we saw sort of this full first five minutes or so in like the preview clip yeah. that they released and they were like playing it during commercial breaks on yes during survivor and whatnot but we're saying hello to everybody and then it's like run to cars because it's self -driving. Clue is on the car of yeah. course we're gonna self-drive mm -hmm. clue is on the car you're gonna head downtown uh without a map we hear no map mm -hmm. this is where we see chris face plant but he gets right back up. So okay. now apparently, <laughs> um, because Variety was there, okay. Variety wrote their article saying they were there for this filming and that there was a medical emergency. And so I asked, because like there was no press about a medical None. emergency. I was like, Bill, what's this medical emergency? And he was like, it's just a little first aid. <laughs> and uh. we didn't, oh, we obviously didn't even see it in the episode, but it was Chris falling oh uh obviously they did have to like oh. take a moment oh. so um, a and so stuff. yeah to like Clean check on him uh but luckily it was just a oh first my goodness. Type moment. yes mm -hmm. okay thank goodness but yes they're they're going downtown and and this i think immediately they give us what we sort of hope for with these longer episodes which is more yeah. character stuff like we're really getting to know all of these teams Ex yes. right away, which is fun. I love that. Please. It's, it felt smooth getting to mm -hmm. know uh, a lot of them to the point that we're like, we can't tell who's going to go home or stay. We can't tell because you're telling us stuff about everybody. About everybody. We love it. I loved the little Ricky and um, Cesar package. Uh-huh. Cesar is the James oh. and Ricky is the Will. <laughs> right? Like one of them's a super fan and the other one is there and is like, this is really for you, but it's our dream. <laughs> I thought uh, Danny and his mom seemed like a James because they cried immediately. I am. I already know. They're my team. Ah! They're not on my draft, but I am obsessed. <laughs> he just seems like a fragile little flower. So many allergies. <laughs> literally allergic to the walls at his school. I like, could not live outside his house oh my god and he's already crying <laughs> yeah. just because he's been because telling he's people since he was 13 yep. that he was going to run the race and he was going to do it with his mom oh my so god to be here with his mom <laughs> and then his mom is like crying in the driver's seat and she's like this is i don't really care but i love that he cares no yeah she's like to <laughs> see my boy yeah ride. yeah I was like, oh, She's Lord. like, I'm just here for him. Keep it together, folks. I know. We just got started. But I do yeah. think there is, I mean, for people who cry, Yeah. I think there is that adrenaline that, like, I'm here I'm yes. in this moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. We also see um, Maya. Well, we, we're seeing everybody driving, but yes. I was zeroing in on Maya and Rohan in the car here. Where are you now? Like, Where are you now? I was like, they look like minors. Oh, they are. They look so young. They are barely legal. <laughs> Uh, hot take, casting did them dirty by casting them too soon. Yeah. Make them apply a yeah. couple more times. Because, like, they too seemed, young. I mean, who knows what they're told to say and versus whatever in these, like, interviews. But they're like, we're super fans. And yes, they are. We're, they're talking about 
competitive softball and competitive this and that. And we took two languages so yes. that we could prepare for the race. And again, some of that I'm like, you didn't really take separate languages because you well, they just happened to, race. and then they thought that's the a good was skill. Like, okay, this for, better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think you're right. Like they're just they're young. They if they had had a few more years, I think yes. they would have been a little more equipped. To I think practice. that yes, I really felt bad that they were cast this this soon. I get yeah. that they're super fans. We love that. We're mm -hmm. we're super fans. We get that. Yeah. But Maya's been driving for two years of her yeah. life. Yeah. Like I know we thought we were like so old and uh -huh. adults at 18. You're not. But we're not. We are old adults. Now. Okay. Now. <laughs> we finally got there. <laughs> we did. But we're they're driving to this like <sighs> high flying thing on the beach. Not a lot of it. Beautiful. Maybe I, said that I would right. never do that. I love that the twins oh, were like, do we have to climb up and do this thing? Oh my God, the edit. You would never get... catch me thinking that. No, you would not be. You'd be like, Sarah, do you have to climb up that? <laughs> the edit these twins are about to get this whole season. That was like the da -da 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 -da. right. And like, where are we? Do we go here? Do we do, do we... this? Oh, I think what we have to climb this. To oh no, it's right over here. Yeah. I was like, the clue oh box. Boy. Yeah. Oh boy. But it's just the clue box yes. at this thing on the beach. And so this is where we get the detour, which is pick them up or pin them down. Yes. And I'll say Ricky and Cesar are the first to grab it. And yes. Rod and Letitia are like right behind them. Those yeah. are the first two teams. Yeah. Yeah. Pick them up, pin them down. We've pick them up as the, are the rocking horses. rocking horses. We saw a, a taste of that in the preview as well. And then pin them down as the luchador. Thing. We've got a physical task and a memory task. What do you think we would have picked? Luchador. Yeah, hundred percent. Lucha Libre. Yeah. Russell. I loved that whole thing. It was so fun. Them running out and like the oh my chaos. God. Yes, and everyone's like, "Whoa, there's so many of them." Yeah, <laughs> and you like you have to adjust and be like, "Oh wait, I have to memorize this while this uh -huh. like craziness is happening." Yeah, which is fun, but yeah. it's also just entertaining to watch as a viewer at home. So fun. Loved it. Yes, um, but a lot of people are picking the rocking horses. Yeah, I guess they just thought, let's get it yeah. over but, with. But Ricky and, I'm trying to get the pronunciation right. Is it Cesar? I'm saying Cesar until Cesar. someone. Cesar. Okay, I got to listen. It was there's something me. about the emphasis that they were placing on it that felt a little, I was like, oh, I got to we'll, But it's we'll not figure Caesar. It out. No, it's not. So uh, help us out Cesar. if someone yes. can. But um, the gays, <laughs> uh, they've been to Mexico City before or yes. Puerto Vallarta. And they're like, those rocking horses are big. So they've we're going to go do the luchador that's thing. That's right. Because that's where they became official boyfriends, apparently. Yeah. After so nine months. Yeah. That's a long time. It's a long time to be just hanging out with somebody. I It took me and Douglas three months. To and say, I like, thought that together. was a long time. Yeah. But no, nine months. Yeah. You got me. Yeah. And then Maya and Rohan, Rohan are already lost. Okay, so they're just the going to be driving while we do the rest of For this a episode. a long time. Until we yeah. get to one of my favorite moments ever in the history of Amazing Race. <laughs> but we'll get there. We're not there yet. I know exactly what you're talking not about. there yet. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, so we start to separate people out into the uh, sides of the tour. We go to pin them down first, and they're realizing you know exactly what this is it's so chaotic there's so many luchadors fighting at the same time yes. and like the masks are unique but they're not it's not like this one's red this one's green this one's gold like it's red it's with the of lightning and, and sparkles yes. and all kinds of things so it is easy to kind of like get them mixed up of course the ref who's judging it has the most hilarious no in amazing race tradition where he's like no 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 what, oh, one of the best <laughs> judges no yeah. and i think like uh, one of ricky or Caesar. we're saying it like caser caser oh okay. that doesn't that doesn't I, feel I right um know. but anyway one of them was like okay yeah <laughs> And I was Relax. like, seriously, like the first time that comes at you, you'd be like, oh, Whoa. right, got it wrong. Got it. I'm wrong. All right. <laughs> uh, but we loved it. Yes. Love it. Okay. You're just going to have to probably like get the gist of this challenge, right? Yeah. And then you're going to get it the second or third Well, because there's certain ones where like, you know, the repetition of like seeing them, you just check off the ones in your mind that you know. You're like, okay, I, I thought that and I'm seeing it again, checked off in my mind. And so you just got to like figure out the rest. I think it didn't take anybody more than like three or four attempts. I no. Think. Okay. So 
uh, boyfriends and Rod and Leticia, can we yeah. call them NFL, yeah. are at Lucha Libre. Yeah. Um, we're going to see. Uh, oh, that was the twins. Anthony and Bailey, are they the twins? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I said having the time of their life, not seeing the clue box. Oh, yeah. Uh, then, okay. Law enforcement is our first team to get to the rocking horses. They're going to go get those first. Then we see Yvonne and Melissa uh -huh. at rocking horses. Yeah. Um, we're also going to check in and see that uh, dad and Mary are lost. They're lost as well. Yeah. They were the other kind of team now they're walking this episode uh they're walking because they're going to the horse the rocking horses yeah yep. but um someone was like three blocks over yeah and they go three blocks over and it's, and not, it's there. not there so they're still walking which is just breaking my heart because mm -hmm. please stop making this man walk yeah oh my god need to keep walking i know and then like they're they eventually i mean i may be jumping ahead but like then when they pa cross paths with juan and shane and they were like do we stick together no let's split up and then they just like arrived at the horses too late and they were all gone and then they <laughs> literally they're walking up there and people are like yeah there's two sets of rocking horses they're like yeah they're like they're still rocking horses yeah. like which is smart check as you're like going up this hill yeah and literally, like those last two teams, grab the rocking horses as they get up there. Yeah. And then, yeah, they're gonna tell the two military boys, the pilots, no, d don't. There's, there's no rocking mm -hmm. horses. No need to keep going. Yeah. I was like, oh man. I know. And then Chris then was like, oh, should we have helped them like that? No, you shouldn't have. I am so glad that you said that we would have done the luchador thing because I'm watching this pick them up thing, no. and I'm like, this would be horrible. Because for oh, me, wow. not to like be like, it's harder for me than anybody else, but so I would tall. be bent over yeah. trying to carry that horse. It looked horrible for people who are like short, average height. Yeah. yeah. No, the bumps of the cobblestone oh. seemed really painful. Yeah. And then, yeah, if you had to bend over that much. Yeah. I mean, everyone is like struggling mm -hmm. to a degree just yeah. because those teeny tiny wheels on the cobblestones is tough. But like. Amber and Vinny, as we saw in the preview, seem to be kind of having the hardest time and her hands getting pinched and she's getting frustrated. She was like, could you please just step away out of my sight? Yeah, please just go away. Yeah. And I was like, I feel you, girl. I feel that. It, I feel that. If I just like stubbed my toe, I'd be like yeah. that. The twins, I think, seemed kind of unbothered. Here's the thing with the twins, the surfer twins, Anthony and Bailey. They're very unbothered. Because I think... They literally thought, do we climb this thing and do this thing? Because they could. They could. They're almost they too nice. capable. Yeah. Like, your whole world of possibility opens up there. And I think they might get kind of turned around thinking that they have to do something that they don't because they could do it. So they're like, yeah. oh, I guess let's go climb this thing. And it's like, no, you don't have to do that. Don't Whereas don't do we would be like, we're not climbing that thing, right? Climbing. Oh, like, okay, yes. Here's the, the clue the box. box? <laughs> yeah. But they seem like unbothered by the rocking horse thing even too they're just kind of like doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah which like, <laughs> which we love the like they're just here for the adventure yeah and that is gonna help you through tasks yeah uh but yeah they i will not be surprised if they get turned around and confused yes. yeah throughout this season uh-huh that's gonna happen but the i will say though as we're like going through these people doing the rocking horse yeah the pilots are 12th place to grab the clue. That was shocking. Shocking. They got lost on the drive. I said, y'all were going to be good at navigation. Wrong. You let me down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, I still think, wait, they can adjust. I right? think it was a fluke. They yeah. ended way better than they started in just this one leg. Exactly. So, yeah. um, and, and like we said, they're going to get a little bit of help. Don't have to go all the way to the rocking horse. Mm -hmm. They start running around to get to Lucha Libre. And there we're seeing people like get through. Yeah, the Lucha Libre thing is easier to get through. Like we said, it's like three or four attempts maximum, it seems, for yeah. people. But it is uh, the gaze, the light blue, uh, baby blue uh, gaze, Ricky and Cesar. Hawaiian mint. Hawaiian mint. That's what Ricky told us. Oh, okay. The That's the color of the shirt. That's what he's telling us. I'm obsessed with that. Yeah. I okay. Don't... Team Hawaiian mint. Yes. Then. That's their nickname. Yes. Now. Great. Mm -hmm. So Team Hawaiian mint get through first. And Rod and Letitia are right behind them. Yes. Thrilled to see it because those are two teams on my draft. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to skip ahead. But someone did really good in this first episode on the draft. Thank you, everybody. Uh, significantly. <laughs> um, but yeah, those teams were really strong this whole episode. Now we get to talk about my favorite moment of this whole episode. Okay. Literal 
comedy segment yeah. of a car that has gone down a very narrow street. Yum. In Puerto Vallarta. A dead end street. That <laughs> cannot go any further. And they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Look, a lot of people were like, reverse. That's me screaming at my television. <laughs> and I think if they had been three or four years older, they would have been like, we're just reversing down this street. They might have. Yeah. They said there was lots of other cars and other things going on. Doesn't matter because they gave me oh. absolute life. It was. <laughs> with this 715 point turn. Yeah. I wrote, it, I wrote a million point turn. It was. <laughs> Like literal uh, comedy. Like this uh, is a Benny Hill, uh, Hill show. Yes. Like, does anyone know Benny Hill? That's so old. That's such an old. I am Rohan. Do not. <laughs> <laughs> this is an SNL skit. Like this is. Yeah, so... and they're literally hitting the curb. No, you know what? They're not, David. I thought they hit it one time, and they're like, "Oh no, 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 no!" Yeah, they hit it one time, yeah. and then I think the fear of like whatever they signed their lives away for the show was like any damage you might have to pay for. I don't know what the contract says, yeah. but clearly they did not want to scratch yeah. this car at all because they didn't hit the curb. They didn't. I was like, "Keep going,", Keep going. because you you also don't curb. have to hit it. Just you can just just attack. You can just touch the curb with the car, and then you know that you're you are getting all the distance you that you possibly take it can. All. And my other critique, if they were to ever find themselves in this situation again, yes, is that they weren't turning the wheel all the way. Again, she's been driving for two stop years. Stop and turn the wheel all, all the way. The way. Yep. And then you get the best angle. If yes. you just turn a little bit, that's you're why you got barely. stuck. They're in and out of that driver's seat. Switching spots. Because uh -oh. she's like, I'm freaking out. And he's like, let me try. And then he's going to freak out. Like this, would I would have melted. I would oh, have been so stressed. They did melt. Yeah. Yeah. There was a full meltdown for them. I. This is truly <laughs> one of, like, this is a nightmare. If I were personally in that moment in a foreign country trying to turn around on the most narrow street, yeah. I would have had a, a complete anxiety attack. Yeah. But as an audience member. Oh, I was like, loving it. This is hysterical. I was crying laughing. And this went on for multiple segments. Oh my God. They start so long. The five million point turn. And then we leave them there. Yeah. To see more, you know, the the wheels from the horse they're removing. Now it's like Derek and Shalissa retired law enforcement. The twins, uh, Yvonne and Melissa, Amber and Vinny are now at the horses, removing the wheels. They're finishing. Pick me up. Mayan Rohan are still at the car, uh, turning uh, it around. Uh, uh, oh my God, my heart breaks. Here's the thing about Los Angeles. Here's a little tip if you ever live here slash visit here. We freely tap everyone else's cars. Oh yeah. This is something, we have such tight parking spots here yeah. that it is completely acceptable. You just go just up go, and you tap boop. that car in front of you. There's no you damage. tap that car behind you. You tap it again. You tap it again to get yourself out of that parking spot. Like, that's why I could not believe that they were not going all the way to the I curb. Know, I know. Anyway. They so finally sorry, get Maya. out so by. Sorry. They eventually. The, with sure. the turn. Yeah. I was like, I can't believe they didn't just reverse back. But, you know, maybe it was are. impossible. But they made it out. They did it. Other teams are already headed to the roadblock. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah the Lasso roadblock. Rodeo roadblock. It's those like first three teams out of uh, Pin Them Down were Hawaiian Mint, NFL, and then um, Karishma and Kishori. Our cousins. Yes, our cousins were out. So they're already headed to the rodeo. And Maya and Rohan do not even have their first clue. Okay. Um, here's something we learned about Karishma. Yeah. The younger of the two cousins. Okay. She doesn't read clues. She doesn't. She doesn't. And... Her cousin was like, this is a, I knew this was going to be a uh -huh. thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, if she knew it was going to be a thing, yeah. this is really a thing. Yes. You got to, you got to read that clue. Yes. I loved when they were on the way to the rodeo though. I'm loving their demeanor generally. Yes, they're sure. super, fun. super fun. I feel like we would be friends with them. Yeah. They're driving in the car and they're like, do you see the sign? Do you see the sign? And they're like, oh, there's the sign. Take a left, take a left. They're like cheering to take a left in the car. I'm like loving them. They're very, very <laughs> fun. If she can read a clue, yes. they're going to do well. Uh-huh. Before we get going at the rodeo, okay. we see 
Juan and Shane and Chris and Mary, we already talked about how they got lost and they tried to do the horses and had to get to the luchadors. Yes. Juan and Shane uh, are there and Chris and Mary arrive. So they're still, even though they kind of got split up. Yes. I was like kind of tracking like, which of these teams yeah. is going to be in last place? It's yeah, one right? of these three. Juan and Shane, Chris and Mary, Maya and Rohan. Yes. It seems like Maya and Rohan are just like squarely in last, but there does end up being overlap of yeah. all three of those teams. Right. So at Lucha Libre. So when Maya and Rohan finally show up to Lucha Libre, mm -hmm. they see Chris and Mary, dad and daughter, leaving. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh my God, we're we're in this. And they actually fly through this memory task really quickly yeah. and are out like yep. right behind Maya uh, or right behind uh, dad and daughter. Mm -hmm. So we've got the pilots, dad and daughter, Maya and Rohan coming yeah. in. But meanwhile, the rest of the pack is at this roadblock block who's feeling loopy yes um by the way i did feel like um Maya and rohan were doomed when it, they got their first clue at 39 minutes into the episode did I was you like that's was that your first hint there that's not, yeah i was like it's just like this isn't looking good for yeah, them yeah but the the rodeo um let's see where are we in my notes here so uh okay, letitia and rod actually get there first right yes rod and letitia are gonna pass uh, Hawaiian men. Am I allowed to call them the gays? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, they're they're going to pass them and get up there first. <laughs> they're going to pass them. them. Uh, <laughs> those two guys. And um, we got to spin a lasso yes. uh, and jump through it. Now, why in a million years would we choose Rod, the largest man in the I world, know. to jump through a lasso? Yeah, but he does well. I mean, I guess they're he just did like, do pretty well. he's athletic, but it's like, you really have to scrunch, to, like, yourself scrunch your yourself up and he's a big man. Um, but yeah, it's Rod and Cesar who choose to do the lasso thing. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, team double Dutch is going to kill this. Right. Uh, but he, you <laughs> I think know, everyone said that. And then he was like, he didn't Ooh. race through it in this way. I thought he he's might like learning curve. Yeah. But um, Rod and Cesar get it done. Pretty easily. Yeah, it's going to take them. them a couple of times, but yeah. they're going to get through it. Mm -hmm. Law enforcement's going to arrive. Derek seems to do great. He, oh, gets he finishes right very through. quickly. They're in third place now. Then our cousins get here. Krishma's not going to read she's the not clue. Gonna read that. So she's not going to put on her handkerchief. And and she does struggle. Like she, it takes her a while to get through the lassos. I didn't and get it. it doesn't matter because you do not have your little handkerchief on. So she, it's they be showed a, a montage of her. Yeah, messing up. 14 times in a row. <laughs> and she's not even wearing a handkerchief <laughs> at this point. So she finishes eventually at her 19th attempt. Oh. And then realizes oh, that she's not gosh. wearing her handkerchief. That would Thank boil my blood. God, she was like, give me the clue. What did I do wrong? Yep. You know, I mean, I guess that is always the instinct. Yeah, if, probably the producers probably drill that into your if brain. If you don't see like, a clue flying at you, yeah. your next clue, you yeah. go back to that other clue. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So she goes back and realizes she missed something and has to do it all over again. Danny and Angie arrive. Yes. Mom and son at the rodeo. And he's, of course, he's afraid of horses. He's got issues with the horses. Of course. <laughs> he's so sweet. He's like the purest soul. <laughs> And he's like, I just, you know, I, I had a bad experience with a horse. Oh, and so I'm scared of horses. But this really has nothing to do with horses, except that there's a horse right at the right entrance. Right at the entrance. And he's like, <laughs> he's he like, literally is like, stop. And you see the horse's body language change. Because you know how horses yes. react to what you're giving. Yeah, horse that horse like, was like, what's the problem? What's up with you? <laughs> and the mom, Angie, is like, oh, horses. And like Danny, like, fur, like straight freezes. <laughs> And then, like, inches over, like, away from the horse. <laughs> I was like, bless you for going on the amazing race. I know. To, like, exist. Truly, 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 truly. Um, Yvonne and Melissa are also there. Uh, I was just tracking them because they're on my draft team, but they're sort of, like, squarely middle of the pack. But they yeah. like, whereas Danny was like, oh, I hate horses. Like, I can't do this. Yvonne was like, I'll do it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like, let's go. Yeah. Um, so Karishma finally gets through that. Yeah. And then as people are, are finishing the rodeo, they're going to the pit stop now. 
Who's Shane? Shane flies through lassos. Oh, military guy. Oh, military. The pilot. They literally came in ninth place. Yep. And he jumped to fourth because it looked like he got through it on one attempt. Yeah. He just flew through the lassos, yeah. passed a bunch of teams, were able to get out of that. Then yeah. we see the double dutch team arrive and it's like, okay, okay. not exactly you're double not, dutch. Yeah, it's different. Mm -hmm. Um, Mom and Danny finish. Danny's crying after he finishes. <laughs> I love uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> uh our twins are gonna arrive yeah it seemed i wrote down like did anthony do that on his literal first try yeah it, i wrote down super easy so, yeah. and he passed his team so yeah yeah uh our firefighters i'm tracking firefighters i know and they like barely showed them in this episode I know. what does that mean i don't know I'm but worried. i was thinking they'd be more of a front of a pack front of the pack team but yeah they might still but this was kind of a mediocre like for them um so they're yeah they're here in the middle amber uh, and Vinny are lost Colorado we're seeing a couple. lot of like car footage yep. with them and they're turned around and do we flip a u and where's the street sign and i don't I'm know where we sure are i'm not sure that they're great at navigating that yeah. might be an issue of theirs so they arrive in 12th place which is like back, back. from where they were uh and Vinny passes mary yes there because mary chris and mary uh son um daughter and dad yes had arrived before amber and Vinny, but Vinny makes it through really quickly and he passes mary at the thing but why she... did i write not mary pulling hmm Vinny flies through passes mary not mary, not mary pulling. pulling that must what be did she typo. pull i thought pulling is a typo pulling Paul, Because that sounds like me having attitude. Healing. Like, not Mary. Right, not way. Mary. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot, Mary. I missed it. Whatever Sorry, it was. Mary. It's, it's, it, I bet it was amazing. But she finishes in 12th, Mary. Uh -huh. And Maya and Rohan are now arriving because, as you said, they kind of finished they're the memory their, thing yes. quickly, the luchador. So they're arriving as Mary and Chris are leaving. Yeah, we've got another pass here. And they're going to fly through this lasso thing, yeah. too. Seeming. They did. But she did say like, oh, it only checked. took you like a few minutes or yeah. whatever. They were 10 minutes behind yeah. uh, Chris and Mary. Uh, and they, because they were so lost, had already driven this, knew exactly where to go. Yeah. And we see Mary stop to ask for directions. Mm, yeah. So it actually was very, very close. I did get confirmation wow. on that. But let's go through the pit stop. Let's go through the pit stop. Rod and Letitia are first place. First place. You know what? You didn't win anything, but you get points. You came in first place in our draft. So. Still racing, though. A still racing leg, which still racing. I had been spoiled a little bit by Nerdtainment uh, on who went home because I saw, hello, Will and James. Uh, I saw Sarah's exit interview before I saw the episode itself. So I knew that Maya and Rohan were going to be going home. Mm -hmm. But then when Phil said, you're still racing, I was then kind of surprised that they did an elimination on a yeah. continue racing like and i've seen people have different opinions about that but i like it even mm. i feel like still racing or not still racing eliminate someone every leg let's mm. go i mean i feel bad when the first team's eliminated yeah but that's what we're here to do but we're the, here to eliminate people down to one show. Yeah. yeah yeah so rod and Letitia, get your clue keep going Ricky and Cesar. Yeah. Or Cesar. I don't Cesar, know. Cesar. Mm -hmm. um, Derek and Shalisa, my law enforcement team. Yeah. Yay. Juan and Juan Shane. And, Shane. And, Terry. and then it's a big montage of like, boom, boom. Yeah. Michelle and Sean, Double Dutch. Yvonne and Melissa. Angie and Danny. Anthony and Bailey. Sunny and Busy. My firefighters. Yes. So. Our cousins, Kishori and Karishma. Well, because when I saw that montage 10. of five through nine, yeah. I'm like, where are Kishori and Karishma? Yeah. Because they left the rodeo in fifth place. Wait, they did? Yes. And arrived at the mat in 10th. We didn't get anything. Of it. They must have gotten lost. There were so many teams that passed them, I thought, because she did. She was wasting all that time without the handkerchief. She, I mean, they she still did waste it. a lot of time with the handkerchief, but there weren't a lot of teams that wow. passed in that time. Yeah, she got out of there fifth. So something happened there, and I don't know. It must have been a navigation thing, but they didn't even have real estate in the episode. To no. like, mm -mm. They're like, whatever, they're just 10th place. It's it's fine. They're going to yeah. be 10th. And then now we have our little last group here. Uh, shockingly, Chris and Mary are actually going to come in 11th. They pass Amber and Vinny because Amber and Vinny are not good at navigating. Apparently, they are driving around completely lost. 
They're going to come in 12. And then our sweet children, Maya and Rohan. Yeah. I don't know why I rolled as it. But I did. Because <laughs> uh, we're in Puerto Vallarta. Yes. Um, they said they came up to that mat while the other teams were there. So it wow. was not like a huge yeah. difference. He was still wearing that sombrero and handkerchief. He ran out of that, you know, rodeo challenge so fast that he took some souvenirs with him. He should. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, but you know, disappointing for them. Like it's fun to see young super fans on the show and know that like people are still discovering the show. Yeah. However many seasons in it was when they started watching. They were so young when yeah. they started watching. Yeah. I love that they applied as soon as she turned 18, but it was too soon to cast them. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I really fault casting for that because just give them a few more years to sort of get some life experience, mm -hmm. driving experience, yeah. then they might have had, you know, better skills for yeah. this. And like better, I don't know, instincts on like, we should just reverse down the street instead of doing a hundred point turn. I mean, I don't know. I couldn't see the back of the street. I don't that know. That also could have been a blip in all of their navigation issues. Like they leaned into the edit to show us how, you know, much time that turn was taking, but might have only been five minutes. Did you did you talk to them about how no, much time that took? I didn't get an actual time, but it seemed very significant. Yeah. Like they had they broke down. They were like, we can't do this anymore. Yeah. Uh, like she, at one point, uh, Maya said she thought Phil was going to come eliminate them right there at the car, like that they were trapped. I thought so too, as, they were, <laughs> as I was watching this episode. I was like, this is not going to end well. Because I think at that point it was like already like a still racing leg. And I was like, well, why would they get eliminated if it's keep racing? And I thought literally the sun was going to go down. Yeah. And Phil was like, you can't so get you your were, car out you of the You actually weren't going to be eliminated, but, but we have to here. eliminate you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, drive up on the curb. I don't <laughs> care. You're on an amazing race. Like they did so good at both tasks. Like they had some skills. Yeah. It was just... Just navigating yeah. yeah i and i mean in the exit interview with her she was like i've only been driving for two years at this point and i was just like that's why y'all yeah. shouldn't have been cast yet mm -hmm. oh broke my heart to see them going it's but tough. uh we didn't draft that team we did not there was something about their youth something that, we that told knew. us mm -hmm. They're not quite ready for yeah. this yeah. race. So as lovely as it was to watch them, I'm not surprised that they yeah. went out first. Yeah, well, I think we all kind of sensed mm -hmm. that they were they were going to struggle. Yeah, maybe in you know five to ten years they could come back. Yeah, I think they'd be in a much better place. Yeah, you know. Well, fun first episode though, right? Very fun. I, and I guess we're just going to continue to be in Puerto Vallarta yeah. for the next episode. So there's a lot of Spanish speakers so, this season. There are. So they're not, like you know, a lot of teams are like successfully navigating the city and the language and all of that. Um, so I'm just hoping that my draft teams continue to excel. Y'all, David got 11 <laughs> points. I was like, whoa. Because I thought Shane and Juan were not going to place high because they arrived yeah. 12th to that first clue. Yeah. But sure and I enough. keep thinking I drafted them because they were so high on my list. <laughs> I nope. was for sure I was going to draft them. them, but no, you got them. Yeah. Mm, some things are going to have to, we're going to have to mix up the order. Mm -hmm. them. <laughs> Do them for sure. Uh, yes. Looking forward to this season. Very, Very fun start. And you're right, it wasn't super COVID-y. The only no. evidence I saw was Chris and Mary were wearing masks at I, one point on mm -hmm. the street. And I was like, why are they wearing masks? And then I remembered that this was back in time a little bit. Yeah, I am more concerned about Chris and Mary than I was pre-season. Mm -hmm. um, she's very patient with him, yeah. which is great. She's like, you got this, take your time. Yeah. You know, but that's only going to last you so many legs until, yeah. you know, where you have the the oh, yeah. thing to take your time yeah so i'm i'm disappointed about that but i still love their relationship mm -hmm. and i'm just loving how much character we're getting already and, and i think I we should like cry, we get a cry things. counter for danny yeah should get that going for danny um, but he when he <laughs> when he was doing the lasso thing he was getting so frustrated you know because he's kind of like taller and like kind of yeah. lanky and he was like 
you know, they were hitting his ankles and whatnot. He was getting so frustrated. And I was like, I, I was like, this is my team. Because when he finished, I was like, yes. And I was like, oh, see, I'm just naturally rooting for them. Yeah. I love a mother son dynamic. Yeah. It is cute. It is cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us live in the chat. And a uh, new day and time this season, Sundays, we'll be here regularly. So ho hopefully you can join us. Yes. And if you join us later, make sure you leave us a comment. And for this one, let us know how you feel about Maya and Rohan going home first. Um, some of the dramatic switching in places this episode, Karishma and Kishori going from 5th to 10th, and Juan and Shane going from 12th oh, to 4th. Wow. Um, and who do you have your eyes on? Yes, who are you rooting for? Let us know, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.